Here is the first plush in the Stitch Attack Snacks collection. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a good week and have a fun or relaxing weekend ahead of you, whichever you prefer. I'm sorry that this video is going up so late. This plush released on the 19th of January and I did intend to get this video up in January. But as you will know, if you've watched some of my videos, I haven't been very well. I actually had a chest infection. I'm still feeling it now, but I am well enough to film. So that's why this video has gone up so much later than I intended. So this is really exciting. On the 29th of December 2023, Shop Disney UK announced another monthly collection. In the past, we've had an inkling that a monthly collection was coming, but I actually thought they wouldn't do one this year. With the cost of living crisis, I imagine they've struggled to get people to buy previous monthly collections. A lot of the decades plushes were in the sales. They still are in the sales, some of them. So I didn't think they would do it, but they announced it out of the blue. In the past, when the Disney stores were still open there were rumours because people who were friends with cast members would get told so we always knew it was coming but it just got announced out of the blue I immediately jumped on reels and did a reaction reel but it didn't go to TikTok or YouTube shorts because I couldn't download the audio it would completely take away me talking if I downloaded it so that is why you should follow me on my Instagram Lizzie and the Magic because you do sometimes get things that you won't see on any other platform so I would highly recommend following me over there. So I was actually really excited about this. I saw people going, oh, not Stitch again. But because I didn't collect Stitch Crushes Disney, I haven't got a Stitch collection. So I'm actually really excited about this one. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to collect all of these. So the announcement post reads, Experiment 626 is at it again. And this time he's raided our stash of sensational snacks. Join us every month to see what tasty treats Stitch's out of this world appetite simply cannot resist. Look out for the first pretzel themed collection, Fresh from the Bakery, available from 19th of January. So every month there is going to be one plush and one pin. I won't be collecting the pin. Dedicated to Stitch with a particular treat. So January is a pretzel, February is popcorn and we do already have a photo of that so I will show it to you. March is a cinnamon bun I think, it's a Mickey shaped cinnamon bun but the picture's very small. April is a cake pop, May just looks like a milkshake, June is a donut, July is an ice cream, August is a doll whip, September is a candy apple, October is a churro, November is a gingerbread man, and December looks like a hot chocolate. So we've got quite a range and we've got some that are actually themed to the season, which is nice. But it also coincides with a Disney Parks or at least American Disney Parks collection, which is the Disney Eats collection, where every month they're going to bring out clothing items to do with a particular snack in the parks. So I think they must have trialled Munchlings to see how popular food merchandise is and now they're really ramping it up. I hope it doesn't stop the munchlings, it shouldn't do, but they've definitely released less munchlings this year so far than they did last year, because last January we got two, and this January we only got one. But we are getting a set in February, so I suppose they just know that the double drops aren't that popular. Hopefully we will start to see one a month, like we did with the Wishables, because I really like collecting munchlings and I like filming those videos. But here is the first plush in the Stitch Attack Snacks collection. He is in the bag that he came in. If you didn't see my unboxing, I will leave a card up above as I didn't just buy him. I also bought a munchling to get free delivery, so there will be a short of that munchling being unboxed as well. But let's get him out of the bag. So what is it? This is the Stitch Attack Snacks Pretzel Medium Soft Toy 1 of 12. He was released on Shop Disney UK on the 19th of January and he cost £28. So what's so special about him? Stitch Attack Snacks first on his list that iconic Disney eats the Mickey Mouse pretzel. Stitch holds a soft toy pretzel with such glee you can almost taste the excitement. This adorable soft toy is the first in the Stitch Attack Snacks collection that will include 12 different soft toys with a new one released every month, each one with a different snack. So cute and cuddly, Stitch just might be willing to share. So you've got a slightly different looking Stitch to what you normally would and the reason for that is because they've screen printed his mouth. I think they've done that just to make it 
bigger and more lifelike than it would normally be because he's obviously got his teeth out, his tongue out, he's meant to look like he's actually eating the pretzel. A lot of people have said they don't like this but I think they've done it for that effect and I think it works okay. He's got these flexible ears, this ear is weighed down a bit by his tag and he's got embroidered eyes and nose like he normally would, he just doesn't have an embroidered mouth. Both hands are holding a 3D pretzel and it's poised to his mouth so he can eat it. You can't really see from the front because of the pretzel but he's actually got a shirt on that has pretzels all over it as well which is really nice and because they're mickey pretzels it's basically like he's just covered in hidden mickeys which is really cute he's got little felt claws on his hands and feet and he's still got his little tail on his left foot he's got a stamp which says disney stitch attack snacks series one of 12. he's got an outrageously long tag but nothing like the decades where they had a little tab saying one of 12 and that's because he's been stamped and then he's got this gorgeous tag with some of the snacks that we're going to see and a picture of him inside. I don't think this will change. I think it will just say 2 of 12, 3 of 12 etc and the tag itself won't change but we will see. So the big question is are you worth the money bud? £28. So £28 is a lot of money but I've got to say I was quite happy when it was £28 because obviously we've just had the decades collection where the price fluctuated and they didn't warn you and before that we'd had I think Stitch Crashes Disney was the last collection and I didn't collect that because I was collecting Mickey Mouse Collectors Club and I just didn't really like how they'd executed Stitch Crashes Disney and I think someone told me that Stitch Crashes Disney was £27.50 which was the same as Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction which I was quite shocked at because they always up the price now. So I was really worried that we were looking at £30 plus with this collection and a few people asked me how much it was going to be like I work for Disney and I know but I just simply said it's going to be more than £27.50 it might even be 30 I just don't know. I don't work for Disney. Until they announce it we don't know. But they did do something very telling that let me know it wasn't going to be £30. They announced a week or two before that there was going to be a collectible key on the day that this stitch came out and you had to spend £30. So I put it on my Instagram stories, Lizzie and the Magic, and I put it's not going to be £30 if you need to spend £30 to get the key. I didn't know how much it was going to be, it could have been £29.99, but they would not just give you the key, they needed to incentivise you to spend more than you were planning to, like they always do. At the end of the day, Disney is a capitalist machine, and they don't care about your budgets, they don't care if you couldn't really afford it this month they just want you to buy it so the collectible key which i now have two of because i put another order in a few days later and you could still get the key so it obviously wasn't that popular it's boxed and it says stitch attack snacks and then there's the artwork from the tag in there and it's really nice but i'm not a fan of the keys anymore you know i used to collect all of them but there's just too many now they like to box them and i liked to keep them outside of the box so it's a cute commemorative thing and it is for the collection as a whole so we're not going to see these every month so if you just want to spend 28 pounds they're not going to try and force you to spend more any other time but all i was telling you that to say was that it could have been 30 pound and it wasn't and I think now the first one is £28. I don't think they can raise the price now. I know they did it with the decades, but they were completely different plushes, different sculpts, different sizes. Whereas this is going to be the same stitch sculpt every month, just with a different snack and outfit. So they can't really change his price. So I'm budgeting that I'm going to be spending £28 plus the postage every month. And as I'm not collecting the pins, that won't change. I used to collect the pins back when I had more money, but I just don't see the incentive really. It's the plush I like, it's the plush I want to collect and the pin is basically just a smaller version of the plush. Yes, there's a pin of Angel as well, but I don't want that and I'm really glad that I haven't done two plushes a month because that would just kill me. So, would I say he's worth the money? <laughs> so, height-wise, this one is the exact same size as the Valentine's Small Soft Toy. This has been marketed as a medium, but that Small Soft Toy was £25 and this one is £28. So, I'm beginning to think that the Valentine's plush were priced as they were just so that they could justify this being £28. I think he could have been a little bit bigger 
to really justify this price point because £28 is a lot of money for one single plush. I used to say this a lot with the Decades plushes, but it is a plush I would have collected anyway, even if it was standalone. I really love sweet treats plushes. I love the munchlings. I love the wishables that they did that were snacks. So I would have bought this anyway, but I just wish it was a little bit cheaper. But that is my Disney plush review of the first plush in Disney's monthly collection for 2024. I'm really, really excited to get February's, which is a popcorn, and this is what it looks like. We've known this was what it looks like even before the January one came out, but when Disney announced that it was available on the website on the 19th of January, they did show you the next one. So I'm hoping that every month I will be able to show you the one that's coming because that's always fun. It does come out a little bit before us in the US, a week or two before, I'm not entirely sure. So you do get to see real life pictures before you buy it if you're not sure, if you're not going to collect them all, if you're only going to collect a few. So if you are on the fence, please follow me on Instagram, Lizzie and the Magic, as I will share real life photos when I see them. But that is it from me i really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you think of this plush have a great weekend and i will see you on tuesday for another video bye friends <laughs>